All there is, is this, including closing the camera. This is what's happening. Hearing noises is happening. Hearing my voice, hearing this voice. Feelings in the body are happening. Breathing is happening. Everything that's happening is simply oneness. Oneness expressing itself. There is no other. And in that happening arises the idea that there's a separate entity to which all this is happening. I am a separate person. This is my body. I'm sitting on a chair. I'm breathing. I'm hearing this voice. And all this, in, in that seeing, in that feeling, in that perception of being a separate entity arises the sense of separation, the sense of being a subject and everything else being an object. So I am a person and everything else is happening around me. It's out there happening to me. And we grow up in this sense and we live and grow up and are taught by other people who live in the same dream, in the dream of being separate. And this sense is reinforced in us through everything that we deal with. If you look at the world we live in, it's all about individual success or failure. And we're taught by our parents, our teachers, the priests, the boss, our wives, our husbands. Everything is a reinforcement of the sense of being separate. And there's a contraction into that separation. It's an energetic contraction into being a separate person and protecting ourselves from the world out there that in some senses can be feel as though it's threatening. And for many of us, that's the way our lives are lived, in that sense of being separate and trying to su succeed in some way or other. Very simplistic, but that's how it works. But for some of us, there's a feeling of a sense of loss, a feeling that this isn't complete. There's something that's missing. There's some sort of secret which can't be deciphered, some sort of secret, a sense of something that's missing. And so we go to religion, or we might go to therapy, or we might hear about something called enlightenment. So we go and find a, an enlightened teacher, a so-called enlightened teacher, and because basically we feel separate, we are seeking. There's a whole sense of seeking something. And so we go to a teacher, because we have that energy of seeking, we go to a teacher who comes from the same perception, the, separ the perception of being separate, a separate individual. And that teacher talks to us as though we are separate individuals and we have a choice. And that teacher may have had an experience of some sort, may even have had an awakening experience, and in some way or other is convinced that they are enlightened. And because they did A, B or C, like in meditation, self-inquiry or whatever, they then communicate the idea of progressive endeavour to the individual. So they speak to the individual and they say to the individual, you are a separate individual, and in order to become enlightened, you need to take this path, meditation or whatever. And the whole of our upbringing and the whole way we are is all based on the idea that there is a separate entity and there is something that can be got. And the other thing about this happening of separation is that there's a sense that there's always something else to get. There's always something that's going to happen. So we live in anticipation. Our whole energy is about getting something more. We want, in the dream, to become more happy, more rich, have more lovers or whatever. We're always anticipating. We're always waiting for the next thing to happen. And there's a sense that that will bring us what we want. That will fulfil our lives. Basically, all of that goes on maintaining the idea of separation. 
a whole teaching of individual endeavour reinforces the sense that there is a separate individual who has to get something. It's all basically an ignorance. Liberation is the realisation that there is no one, there is no separate individual. Liberation is the loss of something, it's not the getting of something, it's not something that can be gained. When people come here, a lot of people that come to these meetings think they're going to come and get something. If what is communicated is really heard, then there'll be a loss, there'll be a sense of there is nothing to get, that, that, that something can be lost and then uh, thereafter there's a feeling as though uh, the whole idea of personal in in endeavour falls away. So basically what we're here to talk about today is the possibility that there's no one sitting in this room. There is no one. There is no separate individual. All there is, is what's happening. All there is, is emptiness. And in that emptiness, things apparently are happening. But they're happening to no one. That's the whole basis of, of liberation. Suddenly, there's this world out there with everything that's going on it, and you are here, and there's this world, and this world is happening to you. What we're talking about here is the possibility that this thing out here simply falls into the hole, and there is no thing out here to which things are happening. What also arises in that realisation that there is no one is the realisation that there is no choice there is nothing that can be done. There is no such thing as free will, free will, except in the dream. In the dream of being separate, we feel that we can do things and choose things, choose better or worse. In liberation, it's realised that there is no one, there is no choice. All there is, is this. All there is, is what is happening. So we can use words together, we can talk about this together and share this. We can rediscover this together. This radical and rare message can be rediscovered. And so we'll share concepts together about this. But also what, what can happen and what does happen in this sort of setting is that when people come together to be open to this, then there can be an energetic shift. That energetic shift is out of contraction, this contraction of being a separate individual, looking for something, out into boundlessness. That boundlessness, that energy that can be sensed, is no one's. It's not Tony Parsons. It's got nothing to do with Tony Parsons. It's got nothing to do with anyone here. It's not owned. It's boundlessness. So there can be an expansion into boundlessness out of contraction. That's liberation. So we can talk together and share this possibility. And a clarity can arise. An understanding can arise. But that still is not liberation. You can have someone who is clear about this, absolutely clear, and you still have someone, a separate individual, who is clear about something. That isn't liberation. Liberation is an energetic shift out of contraction into boundlessness, into unknowing. What we're talking about here and sharing together is the adventure of unknowing, is the adventure of living in free fall. It's the adventure of living in simply what is happening what is apparently happening. Sitting on a chair, breathing, hearing a voice. That's all there is. Doesn't matter what you do, there always, always